Okay, people. Hopefully I'm down to the last piece of the puzzle on this uh, intercooler system. This is a, an 89 Mustang uh, build with a 2.3 Whipple supercharger instead of the Kenny Bell that was on there. And I have two intercoolers installed in this setup because my old Kenny Bell um, struggled with detonation because it was not intercooled and I had to install a MSD 6 BTM so I still have it in case I need it but hopefully I won't need it now this time I plan on running uh, about 15 16 pounds of boost as opposed to the 7 8 that I had on the Kenny Bell so and plus I wanted to do a little overkill because I have another engine in the works that's going to eventually go into this car but I want to get it running on the old engine first just in case anything blows up but uh that's it and the, well the last piece of the puzzle okay because I was having so much trouble I mean uh, this whole install I think the intercooling system was the hardest part to figure out because I've never done one before and um, it's tricky getting the air out getting the flow uh, heat soak this was the this was the first one, you know. Now keep in mind, I got two intercoolers, not just one. I went with what I thought was a big inter, single intercooler to do the job, but it turns out I was getting heat soak, and it's probably due to the fact that there might have been a total of about a gallon and a half of water in the system, and I ended up having to run the setup in the two intercoolers in series rather than parallel. Um, because, you know, I mean, this is, what's the point of running in parallel when you only got a single flow through the heat exchanger? So, I had to upgrade and I went overkill because, you know, like I said, it's gonna, there's going to be another engine going in this car anyway. And so I went with, with the dual heat exchangers this time. One heat exchanger for each intercooler. Plus, not only is it bigger, they're, they look like they got an extra core in there a little bit wider too so somehow I'm gonna transfer the fans over from, from that setup to this setup and I'm just getting ready to install it I have all the holes drilled and everything a bracket going along the back to mount to the radiator support they, they mount to that bracket setup and then it, and it goes in here and I and I had, and I'm increase also increasing the uh, capac the capacity of the water, the, the coolant, from like I said, a, a gallon and a half maybe to up to there's a, uh, it's going to be probably about a little over seven gallons total now. There's a five gallon reservoir in the trunk, and it runs up here, and with all the lines and everything, and the two heat exchangers, it's going to probably easily be over seven gallons now. And I, I the last video I explained the. Uh, the BMW water pump, the variable speed water pump that pumps up to 33 gallons per minute, which is overkill. Um, but I can control that with a, a little box I have to control the, the uh, frequency, the signal frequency at 99 hertz. And I'm probably running a duty cycle at about 40%, but we'll see. That's adjustable. But that's it for now. I just wanted to go over the change of plans. And this, the plans have changed so many times. I mean, this is about the fourth time I'm working on this intercooler setup. And I, I, nothing before had anything to do with extra capacity in the trunk and a huge pump and dual heat exchangers. So if this doesn't solve the problem, then nothing will. So um, just to get you up to date and... Hopefully this will be done over the weekend and maybe we'll be out driving it.